What's up guys, welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Here today to bring you a video discussing the breaking news to some or to others who follow this channel, there's some that you expected coming. Kyle McCord, former Ohio State starting quarterback, is in the transfer portal. Let's talk about it. But before we do, guys, hit the comment section down below. Let me know who will be the Ohio State starting quarterback this season. Is it someone for the transfer portal? Is it Cam Ward? Is it Dante Moore? Is it someone on the roster right now or will be soon? Devin Brown, Lincoln, Air Nolan. Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. But let's get into it, guys. So woke up this morning, um, Kyle McCord, about an hour ago. I wanted to make sure, I've been up, but I wanted to make sure that the news was legit. I didn't want to hop on any fake news. But it is, everybody is reposting it now. Kyle McCord, Ohio State quarterback, he is officially in the transfer portal. Um, to me, it's not breaking news. I did a video just last week uh, hitting the rumors on Cam Ward's possibility of going to the transfer portal days before he actually did. And I was saying Ohio State is a very, very viable option for Cam Ward. I also mentioned Dante Moore. So I'm like, yeah, I don't you know. I know Kyle McCord is cool. He had a good record, all that stuff, but he's not up to par in my personal opinion. I'm not an Ohio State fan at all, but in my personal opinion, he wasn't up up to par, up to standard, to being a real, uh, to someone who can lead you to lead you to the promised land, which is all the Ohio State fans want. You know, so um, with him being gone now, well, first before we get there, let's talk about Ryan Day's comments. Ryan Day spoke for the first time since Michigan's loss Sunday, and he was very, very noncommittal. Like he, like it seemed like he went out of his way to be noncommittal to uh, Kyle McCord. So I wonder was there talks prior, or you know, I'm not sure. I'm not in the building, obviously, but uh, yeah, he was very noncommittal, saying you know, depending on the depending on how the practices goes, you no, know, uh, e either Devin Brown or Lincoln could overtake Kyle McCord for the Cotton Bowl coming up soon. So I'm like, wow, that's kind of wild to say for a quarterback that led you 12-1, to had a good season, you know. But but as I said, though, um, it's kind of a it's kind of a give or take, man. You know, he had he gave you – well, not gave you, but he, he led this team, or you can say he played on a team that had a good record, but he really lead this team. I mean, that's, that's the real question. You know, his numbers, his stats – uh, they're okay, but they're similar to a guy like Spencer Rattler, who's from South Carolina, really had no weapons. You know, the numbers are very similar. And for him to have the, uh, the abundance of weapons that he did, that being Kyle McCord, is like, man, you should have you, you should have been in the Heisman race. You, you should have been putting up gaudy numbers. You had Michael, uh, not Michael, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. You had Fleming. You had um, uh, uh, Ibuka. You had... Uh, Henderson, the running back, you had all these weapons all over your, your uh, offensive field. Most of them were healthy for most of the season. You know, they had banged up injuries here and there, left a game early, stuff like that. But for the most part, they were healthy all season. And you couldn't really make any noise, you know. So that's something that I think you swap anyone out, not anyone else, but a lot of a lot of quarterbacks out for Kyle McCord this past season, they're going to go to the Heisman, at least being top three, top four Heisman ranking. And Kyle McCord, to me, never even got close to there. So, you know, all respect to him. He's a solid quarterback, but I just see no NFL talent in him. I don't see like in Kyle McCord. Honestly, I don't see any NFL talent. I don't really see any big town college football talent either. He's solid. You know, all respect to him. Not, not trying to be disrespectful, but he's solid. Former five star, played well, can make a little play here and there, but he's not really the guy that you're gonna be like lead us. He's gonna be the guy that just game manage us and really just you know come along for for the ride. And uh, I just thought he couldn't lead in certain instances where he needed to lead and make a big play. He couldn't do it. You know, he couldn't do it in all those weapons. So. That, to me, really was a downfall for him at Ohio State. Uh, you know, so, I'm, like like I said, to me, it's just not a shocker. I'm not shocked at all. Uh, the portal officially opened today, if I'm not mistaken, and he officially entered, you know, early, or early super early today, so about 6, six o'clock Eastern time. So, uh, he was ready. Um, like I said, everything Ryan Day said Sunday pointed to him not might not even plan in, the, in, in his uh, in, in the Cotton Bowl. So, it was like, you know, uh, it must have been tossed behind the scenes. But now on to the question, who will be the starter next season? 
I, if I were to bank on it, I would say a transfer. I think a transfer is needed. Like like I said, Kyle McCord wasn't great, but he was definitely solid enough to be like, okay, which one of y'all, Devin Brown, Lincoln, the slim chance, the freshman Air Nolan, who enrolled early, um, you know, which one of y'all can do what Kyle McCord did and even a little bit more with lesser with with lesser talent? You know, I don't think none of those guys can. Or I don't know, in my personal opinion, I, I would prefer to see a transfer like Dante Moore, who's who's, who's a Michigan kid, who's also uh, highly thought of to join a Big Ten team. You know, it could be Washington, a, a new Big Ten team. It could be Michigan. You know, McCarthy sh- should be leaving. Uh, could be Ohio State. You know, so you never know what their name thrown in the mix now. So I think Dante Moore is better than what the Ohio State has right now. I think Cam Ward is clearly better than what they have right now. And I'm a big Cam Ward guy. You know, I said it in my Cam Ward uh, topic video last week. I, I had a ranking. I had my top three. I had, I had Ohio State. I had Oregon. I had LSU in that order. And I was like, man, and now, like I said, now it's the perfect timing with Kyle McCord going, bring in him. Excuse me, bring in war for one more season. You know he's on he's on he's on a graduate transfer. Then after that, you let guys fight uh fight for it. You have a talent like Aaron Nolan. You got Brown. You got Lincoln. With well, I'm sure if Ward does come in and play, one one or both of those guys might go ahead and leave. You know, so that is a possibility too. But Aaron Nolan is the heir apparent. You know, pun intended too. So, so uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. There's going to be some money thrown around for sure. Um, you know, and not only Kyle McCord, but a few other players, about five or six more players outside of Kyle McCord has also entered their name in the transfer portal too. So, like, like Ryan Day said, you saw his, his, his press conference Sunday. Now, you know, now's the time, now's the landscape in, in college football. You have to really prep your team year by year. You know, you can't really base it off a long-term, long-term plan. Okay, this guy will be here for two, three, four years. You're gonna depend on what their family's saying, what their friends saying, what 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 other teams are saying to them behind the scenes. These guys might up and leave after one season. You know, so uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with Ohio State. But like, like I said, my Cam Ward video, um, like I said, all due respect to Cal McCord. I just think an upgrade is needed. And to me, it's only two clear options, Dante Moore or Cam Ward. Devin Brown is cool, but he, he's, he's unknown for the most part. Lincoln is cool. He's unknown. And, and, and Aaron Nolan, super talented, great thrower of the ball, but he's a, he's a, he's a freshman, you know. So, uh, like I said, it, for him, it's a super slim chance. But it is possible. So if they don't bring someone in via, via the transfer portal. So we'll see where it goes. But that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Here today to bring you a video discussing the breaking news to some or to others who follow this channel. The some that you expected coming. Kyle McCord, former Ohio State starting quarterback, is in the transfer portal. Let's talk about it. But before we do, guys... Hit the comment section down below. Let me know who will be the Ohio State starting quarterback this season. Is it someone for the transfer portal? Is it Cam Ward? Is it Dante Moore? Is it someone on the roster right now or will be soon? Devin Brown, Lincoln, Air Nolan. Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. But let's get into it, guys. So woke up this morning, um, Kyle McCord, about an hour ago. I wanted to make sure I've been up, but I wanted to make sure that the news was legit. I didn't want to hop on any fake news, but it is. Everybody is reposting it now. Kyle McCord, Ohio State quarterback, he is officially in the transfer portal. Uh, to me, it's not breaking news. I did a video just last week uh, hitting the rumors on Cam Ward's possibility of going to the transfer portal days before he actually did, and I was saying Ohio State is a very, very viable option for Cam Ward. I also mentioned Dante Moore. So I'm like, yeah, I don't you know. I know Kyle McCord is cool. He had a good record, all that stuff, but he's not up to par in my personal opinion. I'm not an Ohio State fan at all, but in my personal opinion, he wasn't up up to par, up to standard to being a real, uh, to someone who could lead you to lead you to the promised land, which is all the Ohio State fans want. You know, so um, with him being gone now, 
Well, first, before we get there, let's talk about Ryan Day's comments. Ryan Day spoke for the first time since Michigan's loss Sunday, and he was very, very noncommittal. Like, he, like, it seemed like he went out of his way to be noncommittal to uh, Cal McCord. So I wonder if it was there talks prior or, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not in the building, obviously. But, uh, yeah, he was very noncommittal saying, you know, depending on, the, depending on how the practices goes, you know, uh, Either Devin Brown or Lincoln could overtake Cal McCord for the Cotton Bowl coming up soon. So I'm like, wow, that's kind of wild to say for a quarterback that led you 12 to one, had a good season, you know. But but as I said though, um, it's kind of a it's kind of a give or take, man. You know, he had he gave you well not gave you, but he he led this team, or you can say he played on the team that had a good record, but he really lead this team. I mean, that's that's the real question. You know, his numbers. His stats, uh, they're okay, but they're similar to a guy like Spencer Rattler, who's from South Carolina, really had no weapons. You know, the numbers are very similar. And for him to have...